I want to do a quick video here showing some of the options I have for running the railroad. Um, recently got it all set up to where I'm using the um, Digitrax Zephyr Extra here and synced into the PR3 which I have connected over to the JMRI software on the laptop with the um, with the uh, Y throttle open. Uh, this allows me to uh, operate uh, here the 3120 with a mouse straight directly off the computer or then I have it set up here with my iPod and a uh, iPad and I've also have an Android here but kind of doing a review of the um, different softwares. This is the uh, JMRI throttle for Android, and this is Y throttle for Apple on the iPad, and the the site, and this is the regular uh, Y throttle ten dollar or nine ninety nine app. Uh, for Apple and I've got this set up with the uh, double throttle so that I can control both uh, units at once and uh, I, I just like the way the uh, the Y throttle is uh, it's a much better nicer looking cleaner uh, than the uh, you know the JMRI on Android I wish that Y throttle would move over to Android since I'm a big Android fan but hey Gotta work with what you got, so I'm gonna set that one aside for the moment. And basically, I want to show you how both these work. This is the double, and I have on here. Let's see if I can. I don't know if you can see it or not. There we go. On the left is the 120, which is this locomotive here, and then I have the 8105 which is my Norfolk Southern Interstate Heritage Unit. And uh, you can see that the one, the throttle on the left is in blue, the one on the right is in pink, and you can toggle back and forth to the options and so forth. So let me get around here. If I want to turn the light on on the 3120, I have to set it on pink and then simply tap the, this is hard to do with the, holding the camera at the same time, and forward, oops, oh, geez, helps if you have the right locomotive here, okay, 3120, and then forward, there we go, right. so, uh, get back here far enough, I'll run the Y throttle up to show you how how well it is how sensitive this unit really is it's very very what works very well and uh, if you were using a um, use it for walk around on your layout it um, it does extremely well here we go on the 8105 oh, lights on and, and can just get it down to a crawl so it works very nice uh, you know so okay so that's how that's working it does give you an option here on the um, on the throttle types so that you can I don't know if you can see that um, there but it does give you different throttle types where you can just do the the single one and you go back to throttle and there you go and that's the 3120 and it's backing up okay I'll have to switch to forward here and there we go and basically you get the same thing with the iPad and 
here's the uh, here's the iPad setup. It's a much bigger throttle, of course, and uh, it might be a little bit more difficult to operate. But um, here's the, here's this setup. It's set up on these this NS thirty four eleven. And I've just got the single throttle, so you have to switch up here to reverse to get it to go back. And let's see if I can do this here. And then we... There we go. So that concludes what I wanted to do. Uh, basically show you how, they'll, um, how they operate. And thanks to a lot of help online and YouTube, I was able, we were able to get it to work. So... That's it. Thanks.